Whoa! Yeah! Welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate. It's a new episode. Today's episode is a, a pre-fight episode for UFC on Fuel. Fabricio Verdun versus Antonio Big Nog Noguera. Or simply known as Big Nog. Whew! Yeah, this is going to be a good fight card for all the Brazilian fans because the majority of fighters on this entire card are Brazilian. I'm really looking forward to the main event, which is a heavyweight, five round heavyweight bout with Fabricio Verdum and Big Nog. And yeah, this fight, whew, my pick to win this fight is a guy I would never, ever want to get hit by. Yeah. Pow! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! whoa. My, yeah, my good buddy uh, Fabricio Verdum. Hopefully he wins. Flashy knockout. I have nothing against Big Nog. It just, what can I say? Verdum, my buddy. We hung out for a little bit in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a fight capital of the world at the famous MGM. Anyhow, so, yeah, both guys are great at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So I got this fight going a stand-up. Because neither one's really, well, you never know. They could try to test their ground game skills, but I see this as a heavy-handed slobber knocker <laughs> of a slugfest. And Verdum just has a heavy hand. So does Big Nog, but just Verdum's a little bit younger, a little bit more quicker, and... Yeah, I got this going maybe second or third round knockout victory for Verdum. Then we have the Ultimate Fighter Brazil Season 2 finalists, which is William Macario and Leonardo, Leonardo Santos. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at some of the notes for this because all the Brazilian names, kind of hard to pronounce some of them. Uh, so yeah, William Macario, he's 6-0, last fought, Paulo Silva won, rear naked choke, round one, and that wasn't in the UFC, that was another organization outside the UFC, and Leonardo, his last fight was Mark Holst, won by arm triangle choke against a Canadian fighter, again, that was outside the UFC, so this will be their UFC debut officially. And they are the two welterweight finalists in Season 2 of Brazil's season of The Ultimate Fighter. Yeah. And then we have Thiago Silva and ha versus uh, Rafael Cavalcante. And that fight could go either way. Rafael Cavalcante, a former strike force light heavyweight champ. Thiago Silva, UFC veteran. I can't pick a winner in this fight. Oh, and real quick, the Ultimate Fighter finalists. I, I just, it's hard to pick. I mean, I, they're both finishers. If you look at their records and who they fought, and they both have quick finishes. I'll just go with William Macario just because he's undefeated and has probably slightly quicker finishes, but they're both really talented fighters. They both have a lot of submissions and knockout victories among, amongst the two. Yeah, and then in the light heavyweight fight, Tiago Silva and Rafael Calvacante. Yeah, I can't pick a winner. The Tiago Silva, he last fought uh, Stanislav Nedkov, and he originally won that fight, third round, arm uh, triangle choke, but it got turned into no contest due to a failed drug test. Rafael Calvacante, former Strikeforce light heavyweight champ, beat King Mo by knockout to win the belt, then lost it to Dan Henderson right after in his next fight. He also, in his last fight, fought Mike Kyle, which I saw that fight. That was a great, exciting fight. But, yeah, he won by guillotine in round one. But then... He got a no contest for a failed drug test. So both these guys are coming off no contests. I would hate to see the winner of this fight fail another drug test, get a no contest. I just 
I hope they're clean and there's a clean winner. Clean, clear cut winner. Anyways, on to the next fight. Daniel Sarafian versus Eddie Mendez. Daniel Sarafian, he lost to CB Dalloway by split decision. I remember watching that fight. That was a close, hard fought fight. It was tough to score. I was. I felt a little unease with that decision when I saw it. Daniel Serafian, you know, he's just a talented middleweight. He could definitely go places. We'll see where he goes from here. He's 7-3, and three, and he's fighting newcomer Eddie Mendez. Never know these newcomers. Should be a good fight. I'll, I'll just pick Daniel Serafian just because he's fought in the UFC, got that experience, and I'm sure he learned from his mistakes with C.B. Dalloway, who, C.B. Dalloway is no slouch. He's tough to beat, but, but yeah, that, I think he'll learn, he learned from his mistakes. Then we have a welterweight clash with Eric Silva and Jason High. Eric Silva, I had this guy as the next big thing in welterweight division. I still do. I, I could easily picture Eric Silva getting a submission win in the first or second round against Jason High. And, yeah, Eric Silva last fought John Fitch, lost by unanimous decision. I say the reason why he lost because it's John Fitch. John Fitch is hard to finish. It's like you're either Johnny Hendricks and you knock him out quick, or you're George St. Pierre and you dominate him, or you just lose to him by decision because John Fitch always won by decision when he was in the UFC. Now he's in World Series of Fighting, so he's out of the equation. Eric Silva, I'm picking to win this by first or second round submission. Jason High, though, is 16-3. and three. He last fought Nate Moore in strike force, won by guillotine choke in round one. Yeah, Jason High, you know, he's I've seen his fights in in Strike Force. He's pretty good, but I just got Eric Silva's a nudge. Plus Eric Silva will his youth. His, he has youth, he has speed, he has knockout power, he has submission skills. He's just gonna have more tools overall. Then to kick off the main card we have a featherweight bout with Honey Jason and Mike Wilkinson. Honey Jason won the season one of Brazil Ultimate Fighter. And he last fought Sam Cecilia, my good buddy. Hung out with him for a little bit in Anaheim. And he beat him by a second round TKO. Yeah, Honey Jason, he's he's amazing. He lost to, I believe, Henan Barrao way back when in Brazil by like a split decision or something. I would have to double check that. Or you you guys can go double check that. But yeah, Honey Jason, he's he's really he's a real deal. Yeah, he's twelve and three. He's a young guy. He'll probably win this fight by I'll just say first or second round submission. Maybe a good guillotine, maybe a good arm triangle choke. So, yeah, there you have it. That's my pre-fight show for UFC on Fuel. Big Nog versus Verdum. Stay tuned in the coming in the coming few days or so. The fight's is Saturday, so check Sunday morning-ish, noon-ish for the post-fight show. And we'll see what happens. Until then, see ya.